the 13th National Czech Transport Construction Technology Innovation of the Year competition, took place on the 16th of June in a full Bethlehem Chapel in Prague's Old Town. The aim of the competition is to make effective professional presentations in the fields of Czech transport infrastructure and engineering professions, not only to the general and professional public, but also to representatives of Czech and European politics. The main climax of the gala evening was the award ceremony for Czech transport infrastructure, technology and innovation to representatives of the most successful companies. The award has been won for the extension of Metro Line A in Prague on the section 5A from Davice Station through to Motol Hospital. I'd like to invite Mr. Milan Veselsky to the podium, the sales director of the company Metrostav, and Mr. David Krasa, managing director of Metroprojekt Praha. The award was made for a number of unique processes that were used for the first time in the Czech Republic. Single-track tunnels were cut using TBM EPBS circular cross-section technology. The station Nádraží Veleslavín is the first three-section station of the Prague Metro, using a new Austrian tunneling method where the definitive lining of both side station tunnels were completed first before beginning the boring of the central section. The CSOB prize has been awarded for the construction project giving wheelchair access to the metro station IP Pavlova. Could Mr. David Krasa, Managing Director of Metroprojekt Praha, please come to the podium? The award was made for originality when building a new access to an in-use deep metro station while keeping disruptions to passengers to a minimum. Congratulations! We can now look at the award-winning construction projects in more detail. The extension of Line A of the Prague Metro by four stations is one of the most significant recent improvements in public transport for inhabitants of Prague and visitors alike. The extension is 6,136 meters long and all the new stations have wheelchair access. The first new station was Bozislavka. It's a single section board station, 193 meters long at a depth of 27 meters below ground level. The station is in the near proximity of a busy street, so it has relieved the jam streets significantly. The station Nadraji Veleslavin is unique in its design and in the shape of the board section. The triple voltage shape of the platforms gives the station a robust look. The platforms are 19.4 meters below ground level. The station Nadraji Veleslavin connects the metro with the bus to Prague's International Václav Havel Airport. It connects not only with other buses, but also trains from the train station at Nádraží Veleslavín. It's an important transport hub, which relieves jam roads and makes journeys to the airport quicker. Petřiny station is a single section station, 217 meters long. The platforms are 35 meters below ground level, featuring a spacious design, a bubble made of aesthetic concrete with the name of the station. The surface of the construction is located in a residential area, making demands on not only the aesthetics, but also the environmental impact of the construction. The station Nemotnice Motol. This construction is currently the last and extremely visible station of the new section. Moreover, it is of real benefit for those needing to get quickly with wheelchair access to the extensive premises of the Motol Hospital. It is the only station on the new section with two side platforms. The station was built by excavating from the surface, is 217 meters long 
and is 5.6 meters below ground level. The load-bearing structure is of technical and aesthetic interest, with a glass roof shell above the platform. The system is made up of 39 reinforced concrete prefabricated arched beams, which are tied and secured by cables. The shape of the beams takes into account the rising slope on the north side and the adjacent street on the south side. This means that each beam has a different length and geometry. The design engineer and the manufacturer had to deal with millimeter precision in dimensions and with high demands on the surface appearance. There is an atrium below platform level, which connects the station extremely elegantly to the main entrance buildings of Motol Hospital. Another construction to receive an award, this time right in the center of Prague, was providing the metro station IP Pavlova with wheelchair access. This was a unique engineering and architectural design, which provided this highly frequented station with wheelchair access. Extensive work had to be done while the metro was in operation, with minimum disruption to passengers. The metro now has wheelchair access to the series of lifts connecting to the ground floor of the block of flats on the extremely busy Legerova Street. The entrance and exit to and from the lift is directly on pavement level. The results of the competition has the support of a number of media partners who pass on the renown of the winners and the filming of the presented constructions to the professional and general public. We congratulate Metrostav Praha on receiving the prestigious awards.